and the point of being here is to raise money for the church? Yeah, So, well, well for the cathedral. For, okay, specifically for the cathedral? Yes. And how's that going? Do you think it's been successful? Oh, there? it's huge. I mean, huge. I mean, I mean, since since Covid, this would be a record. I mean, it, you know, it's, last year was great, but this year's even bigger. So, you know, we've done the job um, that we meant to do. That was raise money for the cathedral. Uh, this year, because we've been so busy, the operators have found it difficult to concentrate because people want to talk to you. You've got to drive trains. The days are long because people in the church now by nine o'clock we're starting to run most mornings and we don't finish till five. You know, you get 25 minutes for lunch because you know that you've got people that are here waiting to help, you to help. So it's been a big strain this year. I mean, in reality, I could never do seven weeks again. It would be physically impossible. I wouldn't even attempt it. But one of the advantages I perceive over the longer period of time is that there's no scramble, no crush, no 10 deep in the crowds fighting. Everyone can come and they can literally spend as long as they want in front of it, admiring the scenery and the layout. Well, that's a big difference this year from last year. Right. I mean, this year people have been standing or sitting or here for at least two and a half hours, where last year they were probably here for 40 minutes, 30 minutes. This year is completely different. Right. A, we've done a lot more people, but they've, la they've stayed here a lot longer. You know, it, it's, it is, it is because there's no crush they can see that we've got more things to do this year. We've got spot the animals, we've got train spotting, we've got drive the engines. All that has made a massive difference. Right. It's taken us out of that model way where you see it at an exhibition and made it completely different, which is what we wanted. Okay. There's a number of things that set this layout apart in terms of the layout itself and the methodology, the ideology behind it. So first of all, let's look at, it's what, 80 foot long? Well, it's 64 feet, it's 64 feet twice, so that's 128 plus 12 or 24 across. So it's a big layout. Eight. And it's one thing it's, we've learned, it's a maximum you can operate by control. Right, so it's you, a maximum. Because you can't see the distance. You can't see any further. We tried 100 feet yeah. and you literally can't see the trains. Okay. And the other thing that strikes me as different is for a layout of this size and seriousness and the quality of the rolling stock you have on, what, 30 locos on yeah. there? Yeah. You're letting kids turn up and have a go. Oh, that's what we did. You can repair anything, can't you? So, if they break it, you know, so what? So you give them a tablet and they get an escorted walk round, is it, and, and drive? Yeah, but the kids are coming back four, four or five times. Right. You give them the tablet, they're running it better than we do. I mean, I don't know anyone else at an exhibition that would hand the controller over and say, well, enjoy yourself. Right, well, what we don't have here is no don't touch signs. Right. And we've had two people say to us, well, you've got a, a network rail van there. No light fingers pinch that. I've gone, no. And if they do, we'll buy a new one. That's admirable. And well, it's... no, that's, you've got, we, you know, we want to engage. That's what the whole point of this right. is. Right. I mean, yes, we go to the Great Electric Train Show, which is, but we don't go to any more and we won't go to any more. That's, we want people that are not converted to model railways. You can't, there's an old saying, isn't there? Pointless preaching to the converted. Yes. And this is the right place to think about that. So we're trying to get people who are no longer in the hobby or, you know, lost interest or, or, and young kids to, to get their interest back in the hobby. So it's a venue that's fit and the layout that's fit for all manners of skill from the casual observer to a, a serious railway yeah. modeler. Yeah, but, but what, and the, what's the benefit to us? I'll tell you what the benefit to us is. It's made us rethink our hobby. Right. You know, it's made us completely rethink our hobby. Um, and going back two years to why I came here in the first place, I said, because you can buy stuff out of the box now that's so good, it's pointless spending your time trying to super detail it. And, now you're and then put it on a, you know, a bad front. Spend your time in doing a scenic model right. and getting it to run properly. So your locos, are they all out of the box then? Everything's out of the box. That's amazing because the comments I'm getting when I'm operating is that people are asking me who made what. Yeah. And when I tell them it's a Hornby out of the box, they're, they're taken back. It's... We have deliberately, and I mean deliberately, done very little to what we do. We've added some weight into the into the pendolinos, 
because they're scale length and the, the motors tend to be too powerful once you put seven, uh, nine or 11 on. So we've just put a bit of weight in the, in the front and, and they've run, we've changed one traction tire in 14 weeks and that's on the nine car Pendolino that's been here since day one. So tonight, that Pendolino will have done over 120 miles and has had one traction tire. That, that leads me on to another subject then. I believe you are measuring the distances that these locos are traveling. Oh yeah. What typical distances are you seeing in a day and over the period? On the fast lines, average is about 1.3 miles a day. So actual miles traveled. Actual miles, That's yeah. impressive, isn't it? Yeah. And when, when you and the guys are up and about and there's no kids, it's when Chris wasn't here, pretty always was the operators. The, the 11 car Pendolino did 14 and a half miles in a week. That's it. That's just, I can't yeah. believe it's still running. And, it, and, it, and it's never we've never touched it. Yeah. We're not cleaning the wheels. Yeah. You know, that's the other myth. So there's a lot of playability in these locos. Yeah, as I well. mean, I cocked it up at the start by oiling some of the container wagons, which right. is, you know, I paid the price, so I had to clean it. Yes. But they, they generally, on the on the, the, the fast roll and stuff, not cleaned it. We're just about, we're week seven and we're just starting to clean a couple of right. wheels. So Biggest problem being couplings. You know, the manufacturers out there get your couplings together because they're the bloody appalling. Right. Is that because they're all at different heights or? They're all at different heights, all at different, uh, you know, widths. We've tried KDs, we've put tension locks on, we've put Riverossi on. At the end of the day, when you've got a train of over nine pounds on the back, going up a one in 80 bank, it just pulls couplings out. And you've got a serious incline there, and, yeah. that's, and that's pulling some yeah. of the longest trains up there. Yeah, well, we're only, on one of the trains, we tried to get to 30 boxes, which would be the maximum on the railway. Right. We couldn't get to that because we just literally couldn't get up the incline. So what is it, 27? 30. Oh, you've 30. got it 30 now. Yeah, no, no, we've got 25. 25. Yeah, we right. couldn't get those extra five on. Okay. We put the um, Dapple 60, um, whatever they are, the, the, I can't remember what they are, the DRS locos on, right. they will pull it. Right. I'm pretty sure I can get 30 on the back of them. Okay. They've got loads of weight in those engines. We've only lost one engine, well, two engines. We stripped the gears on a Backman Class 90. Um, and there was two 90s, there was a pair that stripped one. And we think what happened was one loco went dead and the other one the extra took all the press and its force right. gears off. And Thomas, the tank engine. Backman's Thomas has been thrashed by the kids. Right. It's had open heart surgery twice right. this week. But it's, it's it's still going. They love it, don't they? Yeah. Do the kids turn up and want to drive Thomas or do they want to drive the big stuff as well? All want to drive Pendolinos. Right, really? Oh yeah, they all want Pendolinos. What's the attack? Is that because they've been on them? I don't know. They all want to drive Pendolinos. They do look good though, don't yeah. they? Yeah. And, and we have had lots of ladies who, who just come and say can I drive a pendolino you know so right. you know and uh, that side has been a huge huge success mm -hmm. in that people have seen people with tablets and just gone what's happening can I have a go at that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but it's quite different from last year when we were tripping over everybody we were dropping we were dropping controllers left right yeah. and center repairs yeah. on the go oh my god yeah so you've done this for two years in the cathedral are you coming back next year no that's it Okay, so where do you We go can't come here? back next year, they've already got an exhibition and right. as I said earlier, I don't think we could do a, a seven weeks again. Okay. Because we're all getting old, we're all a year older. Uh, we've gone through at least 40 volunteers, right. just can't take the pace. So we're talking to, uh, we're thinking of going to Warrington Rugby Club right. for Christmas. Yes. 17th to the 1st of January. Okay. And that would be to join last year's to this year's. Hang on. You're putting two huge layouts yes. together. Not, you're not running two separate no. layouts. They, you're no. joined up. The idea is we, we won't use Keffing Viaduct. Right. So we lose 16 feet. Okay. But we add the rest onto the end of this, see if we can get 108 feet. So you're going to send a train off into the distance and hope it comes back. Yep. <laughs> That's yep. going to be worth seeing. Yep. Wow. It, we, yeah. We believe, by the way, we can do it. Right. But we've only got eight weeks. Because? Because we go to the Great Train Show. Right. We come back from the Great sh Train Show. We've got to build seven new fiddle boards and one new front board to replace right. the junction on last year's. So we've actually got seven weeks to do it. 
What impresses me is you build all this and the first time it actually goes together is on site. Yeah. There's no testing beforehand. No, no, no. It's like, there it is, does it work? Yeah. So one worry is like all our electronics from Megapoints controllers, um, it runs on those to operate the, uh, the feedback, the block detection, the mimic yeah. panels and so on. You're not uh, worried about it, are you? I'm not worried. Well, we're not. What was your percep perception No, no, we're it? not worried. Right. It's like, like Simon Kohler said to me after last year's mileage of, these, of the engine, did he want us to send the engines back and replace them? No. So they've done another seven weeks. And do, I, do I need to, to look at them for, what, for warranty? No. I'll just use them again. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. That's very impressive. Well, it's, uh, I, you know, even at 120, 130 real miles, I'm not seeing the wear that you would expect. You know, um, and until they fail, you just run. You say, keep going. In fact, I found the biggest problem we've had here is people fiddling with things. Right, I, like, I should have a big stick and whack my fingers. Don't fiddle. As a manufacturer, I would have thought they would be quite interested in the mileage you are getting and how they're performing, unless they do that test themselves as well. No, they don't. And Hornby are over, you know, you know they're very generous. Right. Hornby and um, Oxford Diecast, really generous. Um, I'm staggered that the other companies haven't even bothered to, to ask us how their engines are performing. Right. Um, because we do have Batman, we do have Halgen, we do have Dapol, so we are running and we have a curious car. So we're running everybody's stuff. You'd think they'd ring up and say, Pete, how did we do? No, I don't hear from frightened me. of the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, you do know you do need to know the answer, yes. don't you? Are you gonna publish the mileage statistics on Tonight. the Tonight. Okay, so where can people go to see this if information? They go onto the Rail Nuts web you know, my Facebook page. Right. They will see all the mileages tomorrow. And that's Rail Nuts on Facebook. Yeah. So I'll put a link to that at the end of this yeah. video as well and on yeah. my website. Yeah. All right, are there any messages you want to give people for later on or for next year or? Yes. If you think that Warrington is going to be a big layout, don't even think about it. Because Warrington's only there for us to build a really proper layout. Because for 2023, we've got the challenge from Hornby of building a station. So we've picked Milton Keynes, which is 40 feet. So we'll go Rugby, Milton Keynes, and then onto last year's layout. That will give us 151 feet. Wow. Now that's a layout. <laughs> I can't wait to see now it. That's a layout. Yes. And the challenge is there because I've never, you know, I don't like building stations because to me they're just nonsense because nothing happens. Milton Keynes has got three challenges. Platform five is bi-directional. You get a pet standing pendolino, while one goes by at 125. You get London trains coming up to Milton Keynes and going back. Double signalled, but at the back of the layout is that big glass building with all of the mirrors. So you see all the train mirrored, but you also got to have moving clouds. Okay. Because it moves. So this is, I've got to, that must be shown in that building. Right. You must see that. So all that movement will be reflected. No shortage of ambition then? No. What about the people who make it with you? Are they kind of, don't be ridiculous, I've had enough, or are they right behind it? No, 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 not at all. Um, they love a challenge. Yeah. And I think, you know, we've planned Milton Keynes out we've looked at it we've got all the drawings we've done it network rail have uh, got, given, given us a pass to go and photograph it all that's not the challenge the clouds are the challenge the bi-directional running is a challenge um, but once we calm dave down about the baseboards everything's plain sailing Brilliant. that's the hardest part that's the it? hardest part when you say to, to you know saying to dave by the way you've got to build another 40 baseboards you know? I mean, well, I'm just like those. Yeah, I mean, don't, listen, I mean, don't underplay the problems we're going to have. Transport is going to be a problem. You know, that's going to be a different problem. But will we ever see 151 feet of railway again? No. So it's not one you can take around the shows, is it? You know mm. what I mean? So, mm. again, it'll be unique mm. and you'll be able to go and... And again, you will be able to drive it. 
That's, so, that's the most impressive thing for me is that's, that's ego, the point. get on with it. Yeah, so you know, you've seen what people have got into, particularly older people, they've suddenly realised just how good technology is, right? How do you do this? How do you do that? How, I mean, I've had a guy here, and I've never thought about it before, but he said, well, I don't quite understand how it works. Now, to me, you know, positive and negative on the wire, right? yeah. I've got that. And you're feeding in 18 volts, and there's a chip in the engine. He could not get his head around it. And he's looking at the kids with the, the, the iPad, and he's going, I don't get it, I, don't, I just don't get it. I went, that is a mobile phone. Your locomotive is who you're calling. Yeah. You dial right. it up and then it goes, and then you just open it up. And he got, it's a mobile phone. I said, yeah, it's a mobile phone. That's what it is. All these engines have got a mobile phone number. You dial in it and it shows you it on there. And then you, instead of saying, hello, you go like that and it moves. It's just perception. People's just perception. perception. Mm. And he went, oh yeah, I've got it. And then he goes, oh yeah, yeah, yeah that, that makes sense. You know, I'll have to do that on mine. I didn't tell him how much the chip cost and didn't tell him how much the system cost. Right. He would have probably passed out that time. Um, you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. But you know what? If, if you want to, if you want to enjoy it like these kids enjoy it, you have no choice. The old knob on the, th the resistor, forget it. Them days are gone. Brilliant. Well, Pete, you've done it again. Another great end to 2022. So thank you very much. And I hope to see okay, you thank in you. Warrington, if not before. Oh, we'll see you there, mate. Great. Thank you very much. Have a great time. We'll probably get a better result than the wires at the minute. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Pleasure. Thanks, Dave. is the end of making tracks 2022 see you at the next one